Hello and welcome to Precon Decon, the video series where I deconstruct the pre-constructed decks of Magic the Gathering's history. This video we're going to keep looking at Battle for Zendikar and we're going to move on and look at Eldrazi Assault. Uh, so another Eldrazi deck, uh, this one is Black Red instead. Let's take a look at the deck list. Uh, so we've got 22 creatures, 9 sorceries, 2 instants, 2 enchantments, 25 land, mana curve off to the side there. Um, yeah, let's just start looking at the uh, cards in the deck. So the foil face rare is Barrage Tyrant, uh, so 4 and a red for 5-3. Um, has Devoid, like um, pretty much all the Eldrazi cards in this block do. Uh, Devoid means that the card has no colour, even though you cast like red mana to cast it. It has, it has no colour. And that's a huge thing of the deck is like um, colourless uh, masses, like a load of synergies between like colourless creatures or colourless spells, uh, which is, you know, like a pretty cool, um, uh, pretty cool like gimmick to have. Uh, it's very different to the other Eldrazi deck, which was all about making um, the Eldrazi Scion tokens and kind of like powering out big ones. This is more kind of like a cheaper, like kind of black red aggro deck, I suppose. Uh, so it has an ability to in a red, uh, sacrifice another colourless creature, does damage each of the sacrifice creature's power to uh, target creature or player. Uh, pretty much all the creatures in the deck are colourless, so this is like a nice way of, uh, you know, you've got a creature that's going to die anyway, or you just need to sneak through that extra damage, um, you know, kill off a troublesome creature, or like do a bunch of damage to uh, an opponent. Yeah, this is this is really solid. Uh, and then we've got two, four runner of slaughter, uh, black and a red for a three, two with devoid. Uh, you can spend one to give a colorless creature haste until end of turn. So this is okay because you could just pay three and have this just be a three, two haste on its own, really, couldn't you? Um, but yeah, you've got like a few of, you know, say all the other creatures in the deck are colorless. So being able to like just doll out haste um, whenever you need it so they can attack immediately is is pretty good. It's nice, as, you know, it's a nice cheap ability. So yeah, this is this is perfectly fine. Uh, then we've got two Nettle Drones, uh, two in a red for a 3-1 with Devoid. Void. Uh, taps to do one damage to each opponent whenever you cast a colourless spell, which is, like I said, pretty much all the cards in the deck. Um, it untaps. I always like these kind of red um, ping creatures that like untap when you meet a certain condition. And it's like in this, this is not a difficult condition. So I think this would fairly regularly be... Um, you know, like doing you know two damage over over a turn, and actually ping once, cast a color spell, it untaps, do it again. Um, yeah, so and it's nice. There's two of them as well. Um, so yeah, this would I think put a lot of pressure on on opponent if you just had this repeatedly, uh, going off. Uh, right, then we've got three culling drones. Uh, so one and a black for a two-two with devoid. Um, has ingest, which is like the other kind of gimmick associated with the Drazi in this block. Um, so ingest is whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top card of their library. Um, so ingest. Um, so there's a lot of synergies um, in this state. We'll see with Eldrazi who. Um, care about uh, stuff being in exile and like the ingest is because like there's uh, drones and processors so all the drones I think have ingest and all the processors have abilities that care about taking stuff out of exile and like putting it back into um uh, back into uh, your like players graveyards and like that kind of acts as like a way to pay for their ability so it's like a fairly fun little gimmick I think so a lot going on with Eldrazi in this set because you got all the scions you got the colourless synergies, um, and then you've got this ingest mechanic. It's it's a lot going on. Um, this is just, I mean, it's just a 2-2, two -two, isn't it? Which is fine. It's got the extra ability of, like, essentially milling for one. Well, it's better than mill, isn't it? Because it's just exiled straight away. So, yeah, this is fine, having, uh, you know, to have three of these. Uh, then we've got two Dominator Drain, two and a black for a 3-2 with Devoid and Ingest. Uh, when it ends the battlefield, if you control another another colourless creature, you will. Um, each opponent loses two life, which is you know perfectly fine. Tack on a bit of life drain on there. Yep, that's fine. Again, not a difficult condition to meet at all. Uh, and then two Sludge Crawlers, one black mana for one, one with Devoid and Ingest. Um, and it's like a shade you can spend two just to um, pump up its power and toughness. Yep, this is... I say again, perfectly fine. Really, right? just a nice little one drop. I think just to to have like a shade ability on it is is pretty good. I think. Um. So then we have two mind rakers. Uh. So three and a black for a three three has to void. Um. So yeah, this is like one of the processors. So it has something that cares about cards in exile. Uh. So when it ends the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile uh, into that player's graveyard, and if you do, each opponent discards a card. So yeah, it's kind of like a. Kind of a wonky way of making sure, you know, this ability, you know, it doesn't always go off. If it does, obviously that's pretty good because then you're getting like um 
for four mana getting a three three and making everyone discard a card, which is which is pretty solid. Um, yeah, I think this is fun, and I I say I do like this kind of um the ingest mechanic and like using cards in exile to pay for abilities because it just feels like kind of fun and different and yeah, just weird, which is very <laughs> befitting for the Eldrazi, I suppose. Um, a single silent skimmer, three and a black from naught four with uh, devoid and flying. Whenever it attacks a uh, defending player, loses two life. Always like these kind of black creatures that make an opponent lose life when they attack in addition to anything else they do. Um, I'm not sure you've got any other ways in this deck of pumping up its power. I mean, you probably do, actually. There's, I think there's a few pump spells. Um, but yeah, it's just obviously just a big blocker, and then um, doing the kind of unpreventable two life when it swings is is pretty good, I think. Um, and then three, a Vestige of Emrakul, uh, three in red just for a three, four with Devoid and Trample. Yep, just a trampley creature, it's fine. Yep, bit of bit of muscle. Uh, so then we have two Kozilek Sentinels, uh, one in red for a one, four with Devoid. So like two mana for a one, four is honestly like pretty good in red. Techni I mean, it's technically in red, isn't it? Um, whenever you cast a colour spell, it gets plus one, plus naught to under ten. So again, pretty much every spell in the deck powers this up. Um, yeah, so you could be it could be swinging for uh, potentially much higher than you'd expect it to be. Uh, yeah, I think this I think this is fine. I think mostly it's just going to stand back as a sort of a defensive creature, though, isn't it? Um, and then we've got two vile aggregate uh, turn a red for a uh, X five has to void. Um, its power is equal to the number of colorless creatures you control which is, I say, it's every creature in the deck. Uh, it has trample, which is nice, um, and it also has ingest. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty solid solid creature to have there. Um, yeah, really like all these. It was nice that it has trample as well to benefit, obviously, from potentially a really high power. So, yeah, that's that's all the creatures. Let's look at the non-creature spells. So we've got two Molten Nurseries, uh, two in a red is enchantment with Devoid. Uh, whenever you cast a colorless spell, you will. Molten Nursery deals one damage to target creature player. So really nice to add in like the extra one point of damage onto every spell you cast is really nice. And it's nice there's two of these. So yeah, that's um that's really solid. I like that. Uh, two a processor assault, one in a red uh, with devoid. As additional cost to cast processor assault, put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. Um, it does five damage to target creature. So you know, like two mana for five damage. Um, it does have like this little hoop you've got to jump through first though to be able to um to be able to cast it. So um, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, I say just yeah, just a you you've got to kind of set things up to be able to cast it. But obviously five damage. Um for two mana is, is obviously pretty solid. Um, oh, is that sorcery speed, I suppose? Uh, maybe it's okay. It's it's fine, I suppose. Uh, and then the other end of the deck is Serpentine Spike. Uh, so five in double red, so super expensive. Um, has to void. Uh, it does two damage to target creature, three damage to another target creature, and four damage to a third target creature. And if a creature dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile it instead. So I get it can be a three for one, but like... I know this feels like really expensive to me <laughs> and like at sorcery speed as well like I don't know like this feels I don't know at this cost I'd expect to be instant um but yeah I don't know this um this feels like kind of weak as a rare to me honestly I mean like, again you know obviously the magical Christmas land scenario is you kill off three creatures and they get exiled but um yeah I don't know like seven mana I don't know I'm not I'm not overjoyed by this one it's um yeah, I mean, like it's an, it's no an case, but I just I don't know it doesn't feel very rare to me. I don't like it's not it doesn't jump out to me. There's I think there's certainly better cards this could have been. Um, and then we've got two touch of the void, uh, two in a red. Uh, touch of the void deals three damage to a creature or player. Um, if it would if it if it would die this turn, it gets exiled instead. Yep, that's fine. So it's another way of getting something in exile that you could use for, I don't know like process or assault. That could be a nice little one two punch there, I suppose. Um, a single grip of desolation, four and double black, um, instant with devoid, exile target creature and target land. So expensive, but um, yeah, like being able to exile uh, two things um, just straight up without doing damage. You know, this is what I mean. There's like compared to this, like serpentine strike feels a little, I don't know, serpentine spike even feels a little, you know what I mean? Because this instance being at six mana, it's, it's, you know, it's getting rid of a land and it's also just straight up exiling a creature like it's not having to rely on damage. Um, yeah, that yeah, that spike really does feel a bit weird to me as a rare. Uh, then we've got two swarm surge, uh, two and a black uh, sorcery creature you control get plus two plus naught turn. Uh, colors creature you control or your creatures um, get first strike until end turn, which is weird to have on a um, yeah on a on a black uh, combat spell. But um, yeah, this is fine. Obviously, giving all your uh, all your creatures plus two plus naught and first strike is obviously pretty scary if you're going to swing with all of them. So yeah, this is this is fine. 
Uh, and then two, transgress the mind, uh, one the black sorcery. Um, target player reveals their hand. Uh, you choose a card with it with mana value three or greater in exile at the episode. So just get rid of their biggest, um, most expensive things. Yep. Again, that's fine. Like um, like these kind of like targeted black discard effects. So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, and then a single complete disregard, uh, two and a black instant exile target creature with power three or less. Yep, just kills off a, a small creature, doesn't it? Which is, um, again, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and then lands, we've got a single Blighted Fen, which gives you colourless. Um, we can spend four and a black, tap it and sacrifice it to make an opponent sacrifice a creature, which I feel is like maybe a little expensive, but I mean, it is still an edict effect on a land. So yeah, it's it's fine. I still think the um, the white version of this that we saw in the last deck is is probably the best Blighted, um, blighted land, just because it gives you such a huge life boost, potentially. Uh, and then two looming spires comes to play tap gives you red and when it ends the battlefield you give a creature plus one plus one on first strike to enter which is yeah pretty good obviously every creature likes getting plus one plus one on first strike so yeah this is nice uh, and then two evolving wilds ten swamps and ten mountains so let's talk about uh some alternate cards here so yeah like i said that serpentine spike just doesn't i don't know it just feels weird in here um i would definitely prefer one of the Rares life's chest here. So either Wasteland Strangler. Uh, so this is two and a black for three, two. Uh, when it ends the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile on, into that graveyard, into that player's graveyard. And if you do, you have something minus three, minus three, ten, ten. So it's like, um, could be really efficient. You know, it's a three, two and, and killing off an X three, which is, you know, pretty good for three mana. That could have been in there. Um, or this actually, I think would have been uh, nice and definitely a lot flashier. It is Gruesome Slaughter, uh, so 6 mana sorcery until end of turn. Colors creatures you control gain, tap, they deal damage equal to their power to target creature. So um, give all your Eldrazi like this one-sided fight effect. Um, I think this, I mean, and then that's potentially going to kill off a lot more creatures than um, the Serpentine Spike would. So yeah, I definitely, I think, would have preferred Gruesome Slaughter instead of the um, Spike, which is, I say, not a bad card. It's like, it just feels like a weak rare to me personally. Um, and then also just why not skitter skin could have been here three and a black it's four three um so it's a fairly biggish creature uh can't block and you can regenerate it but um only if you control another colors creature you will um but yeah this is also one of the last few sets that we're gonna see regenerate because it's gonna get sort of phased out um after uh i think it might show up in shadows over in the strad but yeah it's 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 day is finally coming uh where regenerate is retired uh, but yeah, overall, um, I think this one's all right. I say I kind of like the synergies with all the, uh, you yeah, know, all the colorless spells and colorless creatures. So you got like some interesting creatures in here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think it's pretty solid as kind of a black red kind of aggro deck. Uh, yeah, I think it's just I think it's just pretty solid. I like it not as much as the um, the blue green Eldrazi deck. That was much more like um, that was much more to my taste. But this one I think is still is still pretty good. Uh, but if you have any thoughts or stories or comments opinions about this deck or any of the cards in it, um, stick a you know what do you think about ingest and like that whole kind of uh, the Eldrazi, some cards using exiled cards as a way to pay for abilities. Like, do you think that's good? Would you like to kind of see something like that again in like future sets? I don't know. Stick a comment below. Um, I'll give those a read. I always like reading people's comments, but I'll be back next time. Go and look at the last battle for Zendikar intro pack. But until then, thanks for watching and listening and have a great day.